Today we get another reminder that ATM stands for accessory to mugging. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host as always, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Philadelphia. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. Dude is loitering around an ATM, play acting like he's using it. You can see they caught him on surveillance camera. Pretty good shot of him there. And then he sees an elderly woman come and take out 700 bucks out of the ATM. He is gonna reach over then instead and grab it from her. She puts up some fight, but eventually he is gonna be able to knock her to the ground and take her money. That, again, she had just withdrawn 700 bucks. Picking on an elderly woman, pretty low stuff. Cops have not been able to catch this guy. You know, watching stuff like this, I can't remember the last time I used an ATM that's just kind of open to anyone else. I mean, I just don't for reasons like this. How about you? First thing I notice here, again, we say that ATM stands for accessory to mugging. I would avoid using an ATM in a lobby like this pretty much at all costs if you can. Uh, you know, ones inside grocery stores or stuff like that are less problematic than these, you know, uh, branded ones at the bank inside because the follow home robberies that we see and we're seeing those so often now all over the country. That's a that's a re you know real increasing trend. And guys like this who are just kind of hanging out. You see this guy here, he's feigning like he's using the ATM, but I don't know that he ever put his card in. If he did, he's a total moron because that's an easy way to catch this guy. But that's something you're looking for. Somebody who's loitering at the ATM and not paying attention to their transaction, but paying attention to you, paying attention to other people, that is very problematic, especially here if he pays attention to you. This guy looking over your shoulder, this is one of the reasons that I say all the time that you want to be paying attention to what's going on when the machine is doing its thing and you know uh, you know processing or whatever you don't want to be paying attention to the machine you want to be looking around and seeing that everybody is doing what you expect them to do this guy sitting here paying attention over your shoulder huge red flag here and of course friends teach your elderly parents they're kind of used to using atms you know the those those boomers now and, and teach them how dangerous this is to do this in a grocery store or something like that now listen, once he gets a hold of that money, once she's pulled that money out, what are you gonna need 700 bucks in cash for? Man, people have different reasons for what they do. There's really nothing this woman is gonna do. That's a younger, stronger man attacking an older, more frail woman. I, I just think, you know, she's not a, an MMA fighter or anything like that. Now, now this is a robbery and, and really here, because she's elderly, probably an aggravated robbery. So. You know, could you use deadly force to stop this? I think that you can make an argument that you could, certainly because of the disparity of force that he is using to try to take her purse. But are you gonna be able to get a gun out? This is a reason that I really don't like gun carry in purses for women of any age, because your purse is an object of value and he is gonna try to take that off you and it's gonna make it very difficult to get a gun out of a purse if you didn't see him coming a long way away. And listen, yes, having that attention, attention buys you time, time buys you options. So if you'd have seen that coming, maybe, but far better to have the gun on your person if you're gonna carry a firearm. And remember, you know, somewhat here, women get a lot of flexibility, they get a lot of deference that they have disparity of force when they're being attacked by a man, but it can be rebutted. And so, you know, be cautious of that. And, and I'm not telling you to shoot a guy who's grabbing something from your purse. I'm telling you that, that legally you might be able to get away with it, but be cautious of that because I've seen people charged in those kinds of situations. I think that, that prevention is the best course of action here. I think that, hey, seeing him coming and maintaining distance is the best way if, God forbid, you weren't able to, to keep from, you know, or prevent it from happening to begin with. Having some tools and OC spray before this guy gets actually hands on you would be great. A firearm might be a useful tool, but again, be cautious cautious of that. I, I think, again, most times women are going to get a lot of deference in this case that they were indeed reasonably at fear of great bodily harm with a bigger, stronger, younger man attacking them. But remember, those facts really matter when it comes to covering your ASP.